The internet is a public network. Anything that's transmitted by the internet, unless you've encrypted it before it leaves your desktop, could be seen or read or interpreted or intercepted by almost anyone else. But within the confines of a private network, a LAN, you often have a great deal of confidential information. So what do you do when you want to put that information on Wi-Fi, when you want to have a wireless private network? We need to secure those networks, again, using encryption. So let's take a look at some of the ways we can encrypt an ad hoc wireless network. So we need to set up a temporary wireless network. We're just going to use what's called an ad hoc network, but we want it to be reasonably secure. So we're going to go into the network and sharing center and say manage wireless networks. I'm going to say I want to add one. Now, these two choices, I create a profile to join an existing network. Now, that would mean a network is already based around hardware, such as a network router or something you have in your corporation. But I'm just going to create a quick network to create, um, to connect a few computers for a work group we're working on. And that's called an ad hoc network. There's no infrastructure connected. It's just one computer to the next. All right. Set it up. Next. Give it a name. And then this next piece is really important. No authentication means that the network is going to be completely open. All of the information transmitted on that network can just be sniffed. Anybody else with a network card, even if they don't join the network, could read it and look at that data. Now, depending on what we're transmitting across that network, we may not be okay with that. So we've got two other choices. Wired equivalent protection, WEP, which is neither wired nor equivalent nor terribly protective, or WPA2 personal. Now, there are other WPA options, including WPA2 Enterprise and WPA version 1, but those aren't available in ad hoc networks and network in Windows 7. So of these two choices, you're going to want to use WPA2. WPA2 Personal is basically using a shared key or a password. So you're going to use a secure password, preferably something reasonably long, that other networks are going to be able to use to connect to. Now, WEP was the oldest form of network encryption, and it's been easily hacked. Will it keep your neighbors from sitting in your driveway looking at your wireless? Maybe. It will not keep out an attacker for sure. And even by attackers, meaning, you know, the high school kid who knows what he's doing. It's pretty easy to get into a WEP network. So you want to use WPA2. Click Next. It sets it up. And other networks, other computers on the network can now view that and join the network if you give them the password that you just created. And we can see it on here right at the top, My Network One. You'll see that the icon is different from the other types of networks that I have here online. Okay. Now, if you want to add a network profile, this is where you would specify the type of thing. Normally, this is just done automatically by joining the network. If you're responsible for a small infrastructure network, such as these ones are home networks or places where I live or visit, if you're responsible for setting that up and your network router only does WEP, if it doesn't do WPA2, it's time to go buy a new network router. They're not very expensive anymore. And if yours is that old, that it doesn't do WPA, you're going to get better performance and be happier with the results anyway. It's just not secure enough to use WEP by itself.